Like many dramas, Risa, a naive Japanese girl turns out to be a typical countryside girl without a notion how the city works and relies on her friend to guide her in her questions. However, her friend is in my perception unreasonable and somehow pretends to have the knowledge of how the world works, even if she falls for the tricks, she tried to warn the protagonist. The friend, Natsuki, ends up falling in love at first sight for Risa's new boyfriend, Fukami, how ironic. The drama story is an adaptation of the manga series with the same name Diarysis Coffee and Vanilla Diarysis, Japanese, Kohi and Banira, Kohi Ando Banira, by Takara Akegami. Coffee and Vanilla Manga started to be published on the monthly manga magazine Cheese. Since June 2015. Cheese. Chizu. Chizu is a monthly Japanese shoujo manga magazine under the publication of Shogakukan. The television drama adaptation ran from July 5, 2019, to September 6, 2019. And currently available on Viki and Netflix. It's a total of 10 episodes. How do I describe this drama and the social issues? Well, the soft dark side of society which is represented by the greedy and corrupted soul man and boys. These people try a few nasty moves with Risa, which kind of triggers me in my wishes to hit someone in the nose. Internal thoughts, violence is not the answer, and repeat. Forcing kisses, trapping into a corner, and fighting over Risa like she isn't the one that decides her fate. In my perspective, Risa is a representation of the pure and innocent in a society with emotional damage and creeps. When I speak of emotional damage, I speak about Fukami, the one who grew too fast because he lost his parents, which means whenever there is an issue with Risa, he instantly hugs with a fear she will also leave him alone. He is a bit possessive and has a puppy love that has a good level for both, not something toxic. Coffee and Vanilla, Main Synopsis Shiroki Risa, Fukuhara Haruka is a beautiful young woman who grew up in the countryside and decided to move to Tokyo to continue her education life as a university first year. Although, moving to the countryside to the city, her life and the attention around her shifts. In Tokyo, at university, male students fawn over her, but she is unimpressed by all of them. And when they stop following and go away, she is suffering a panic or anxiety attack because she is not used to it. But her life changes fast when she meets Fukami Hiroto, Dori Sakurada, a dashing, heroic stranger who works in the world of business. Although he treats her kindly and is gentle, he appears to have a dark secret that he carefully hides. Regardless, Shiroki Risa finds herself irresistibly drawn to the new man in her life, and soon discovers that the feeling is mutual, which means her first relationship ever. Many challenges come with it. Can true love bloom from a passionate romance? And will Fukami Hiroto become the coffee to Shiroki Risa's vanilla? Main actor that plays the role of Fukami. Dori Sakurada, born December 7, 1991. He is a Japanese actor and singer. You may know him from the series Alice in Borderland Season 1 and 2 as the character Nikari. Personal thoughts about him, he is good, his facial expressions are good for love stories due to the gentle charisma he shows. But sometimes, I wonder what he would look like if he did more diuresis action movies, like Samurai or Godzilla stories. Main actress that plays the role of Risa. Haruka Fukuhara, born August 28, 1998. She is a Japanese actress, voice actress, singer, and model from Saitama Prefecture. For the ones that follow the many dramas and anime, you will probably recognize her voice or her looks. In 2016, Haruka transitioned from child to a young adult in her first major drama, Good Morning Call, where she becomes the naive now Yoshikawa. Personal thoughts about her, she is amazing. For the list and filmography, she already did, I can tell she tries her hardest. I have no doubt that if she could have an opportunity to do an international movie or something like that, she would do even great and improve a lot more. For now, I will leave you with the opening song. Good on the reel, you and I. I love the strings work. And the tune is just felt right with the melody. Do you know Good on the Real? The band was formed in 2006, when the members were going on the same school. The band name means something feels good. The members are voice, Takahiro Chino, guitar, Ryota Imaruoka and Kohei Okazahi, bass, Tomohiro Usami, and drums Makoto Takahashi. Official website, https colon slash slash goodontheereal.net slash. Those were my thoughts about the drama Coffee and Vanilla, 
Let me know if you agree or disagree. And don't forget future posts every month on the days, 5th, 15th and 25th. To be honest, I am not a lover for age gap love stories, but I did enjoy this one. I understand for some people the age gap difference might be creepy or somehow a gold digger story, but Japanese women don't really think of love and marriage that way. Some after reaching a certain age or losing hope in finding love for themselves. They end up searching for help with a professional matchmaker, or even peer pressure from their parents. The drama Diaresis An Incurable Case of Love Diaresis describes both situations, an age gap love and age gap love fighting over a matchmaking set up by parents. In this case, the story starts with a young lady, Sakura Nanase, on a school trip to Tokyo. She visits the temple where the god of marriage hears your requests. Her goal is to avoid bad luck in men, like her family women before her. If you are interested in it, it's the Imido Temple, Tokyo. January 5, 2022 Imido, Taidoku, Tokyo HTTPS colon slash slash Amato Jinja 1063.crayonsite.net slash. As she walks out the temple, she sees an elder lady fall to the floor. While screaming for help, the shining knight comes along and his name is Kyari Tendo, a doctor at a local hospital. All of a sudden Sakura believes Kyari is the one for his willingness to help and for his gentle smile. Fast forward, that event alone makes her life decision easier to make. If Kyari is a doctor, she would become a nurse to work with him and maybe have her fortune in love with him. When she achieves to become a top student at the nursing school, she goes to work at the same hospital as Dr. Tendo. However, he has changed and lost his smile, and treats her a little cold, in spite of always watching her movements and checking her work which brings a more friendly and social vibe between doctors and patients. By talking to the patients, she discovers a lot of issues in the patient's personal choices that resulted in their illness. I believe this to be a representation of what the Japanese hospitals need more, and that is a more personal approach, because sometimes it's just tea from an uncontrolled source that triggers a sickness we never had. Did you know? In Japan, the grading system from A to F, it's a practice in health checks and when you reach a certain age, it will be possible to get an automatic D score. The reason for that is when you age after 35 years old, you have more probabilities to get diseases like diabetes and heart issues. Then again doctors can also behave like divas when they don't get breakfast, as you will see in episode 2. It's funny how annoying they get. One of the messages the drama carries is to enjoy your minutes of good health to be with loved ones and say what you need to say before it's too late, because at any time people can get sick or experience an accident that can lead to complications. And your regrets may delay taking risks that can trigger a late response to the health issue. And that delay will cause emotional distress to the doctors when they are unable to save you. Official Soundtrack I love, official Hige Dondism, official soundtrack, an incurable case of love. Celebrities in the drama. Sato Takeru plays the Kyari Tendo persona. Sato is one of the most known and cherished actors in Japanese society by his roles in Kamen Rider and Rurunin Kenshin. Takeru Sato, Sato Takeru, was born March 21, 1989, in Saitama. He is best known for his leading role as Ryotaro Nagami in the Kamen Rider Deno franchise and as Himura Kenshin, yes. The Samurai won, in the live-action Rurouni Kenshin film and its sequels. I can tell I personally like the Rurouni Kenshin, and I can tell it's just like the anime version. It is reported that during the film he didn't use any doubles to perform the stunts. Mona Kamishiraishi plays the gentle Sakura Nanase persona. Mona Kamishiraishi, Kamishiraishi Mona, was born January 27, 1998, Kagoshima, south of Japan. She is an award-winning Japanese singer and actress. She was born on January 27, 1998, in Kagoshima, Japan, and made her acting debut on stage, television, and in film in 2011. She can speak English and a little bit of Spanish. Official website, https colon slash slash slash. There is no official translation for the title, in English or in any other language. Kakafu Kaka but this Japanese drama is a mystery in its own right. Have you ever met the ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend that you lost your big V with? If you did, did it go like the drama? If you don't meet the person again, you have to watch this drama and you will have a chance to anticipate a type of awkwardness. As a personal note, it did have the sexual vibe like the drama but more in a possessive and obsessive way. And I ran away from there as fast as I could. Anyway, the drama Kakafu Kaka starts with the discovery of cheating by the current boyfriend as he was leaving the house with the mistress happily. After that we discover that Aki Tarada, the main protagonist, is in a very sensitive financial situation, which is not different from the life of anyone that works part-time, 
or is at the level of a salaryman. She can not find a new house because she doesn't make enough money and she doesn't want to live in the current house because of the bad memories. I would feel the same way. Later, into the story the expression the world is small becomes a fact in this drama. Her friend is moving out from a shared house and one of the permanent residents ends up being Tomoya Hangyo. Tomoya is her first boyfriend and the one she lost her virginity to. The strangest thing in this drama is the acknowledgement that Tomoya suffer from a selective sexual dysfunctional that seems to disappear only when Aki is close. I would say that he is so in love, when losing his virginity with Aki, he never really got over it. Sleeping on the same bed and being really close to each other seems to work the best without really being a couple again. So we have modern topics presented in this drama. Girls that look to get married, or live with someone, are expected to work as full-time housewives. But some look for a part-time job to help with expenses, depending on the personality and situation. Such things are always changing, including now housewives and mothers looking for a hobby and if that hobby makes them happy and gives them some financial independence, which can cause some conflict with former teachings and education. There have been some reported conflicts between husband and wife. I feel happy about more and more issues such as high housing rents being represented in Japanese dramas. It's not easy to live in cities anymore, tourists tend to invade them with conquering economic weapons. That's why sometimes only by going rural and embracing the culture and language into ourselves, we get to experience the real culture, not the one that's for sale, only for tourists. And this type of sexual issues have become more recurrent on the most recent dramas, like My Husband Want Fit, It Means What It Means No Joke. Main Actress Playing Aki Tarada Aoi Morikawa Aoi Morikawa, was born in June 1995, at Aichi Prefecture. Her big debut happened after winning the 17's Miss 17, where were participating another 5,575 applicants. You may recognize her as the main actress in the drama Kakagurui 2018 or as a secondary role at Holic 2013, which are both also based on a manga. Masaki Nakao Main actor playing Tomoya Hangyo Masaki Nakao, was born in November 1996, at Saitama Prefecture. If you like the series Cayman Rider, The Season Ghost, 2015, he was the actor invited to episode 24 as Yamato Kazakiri. Official Opening Song Let's start with the basics. It starts with the typical worship idol groupies around high schools. The high schools in this drama are the all-girls schools or all-boys schools with minimal socialization between themselves. And of course, the female-only schools are represented by the queen bees of the area. The drama starts with a transfer student from America. And the lack of knowledge of the outside world creates the stereotype, Americans are blonde, have blue eyes and big muscles. Or a Jack Bauer, a fictional character secret spy from a U.S. fictional series. Hard time reading kanji? Don't feel bad. All boys schools can't read names in kanji, as well. If you're aware of the Japanese proficiency level test, I challenge you to go on YouTube and search, JLPT and one Japanese try to answer. On the drama, they clearly don't really study so it's not surprising they can't read the names in kanji. Learning hiragana is easy, but learning kanji is a life commitment. First impressions, the transfer student, Ashiya Mizuki, arrives and suffers the typical praxis bullying. Ashiya made the first mistake by putting the shoes in the wrong place. In her thoughts, she reveals the former athlete and now classmate, Sano Izumi, is the reason she disguised herself to enter an all-boys school. Speaking of school, the excessive need to make someone participate in a school club like theater or karate, just to win a prize at the end of the year, like free desserts. On a curious level, a LGTB is already shows up, in spite the drama, being from 2007 and an adaptation from the manga series in 1996 with the same name. In the end, it isn't weird that the translation of the Hanakimi is diaresis for you in full blossom diaresis. This meaning has more than one meaning starting with the timeline of the drama and the typical new school year in Japan's that starts in spring. It also represents the growth the boys go through. Even the principal at a certain point says I ask myself what type of flowers will bloom in our school this year. It would be weird if the story only mentioned the typical masculine as flowers, but considering all the details inside the drama, this is a must-watch LGTB friendly and funny drama. The main actress playing the girl Ashiya Mizuki, that disguises as a boy. Maki Horikita She's an incredible Japanese actress who first came onto the scene in 2003. Since then, she's starred in numerous Japanese television dramas, television and magazine advertisements, and movies. 
Some of Horikita's most popular roles include the introverted high school student Nobuko Kotani in Nobutawo Produce, the righteous law student Sarora Yoshikawa in Kurosagi, and the cross-dressing sports fan Mizuki Ashiya in Hanakimi. On August 22, 2015, Horikita's management agency announced that she had tied the knot with actor Koji Yamamoto, also incredible actor, earlier that day. The couple got close in May 2015 when they played the role of lovers in the theatrical production Arashiga Oka, Wuthering Heights, and had commenced dating in June. On March 2, 2017, she officially announced her retirement from the entertainment industry to look after her family as a mother of two at home. The main actor playing the athletic Sano. Shunoguri is an accomplished Japanese actor, voice actor and film director. The son of stage director Tetsuya Oguri and youngest of three siblings, Shun started his career as an extra in his father and brother's works. His official acting debut came at the age of 13 in the 1995 TV drama, Hachidai Shogun Yoshimin. With a filmography of over 100 credits, Oguri has made an indelible mark in Japanese cinema. He directed his first film in 2010, Surely Someday, in which he also had a cameo role. In 2020, Oguri will make his Hollywood debut in Godzilla vs. Kong. As a voice actor, he is well known for his role as Alphonse Heydrich in Full Metal Alchemist the movie, Conqueror of Shambhala, 2005, among other series. Official Opening Song, Orange Range, Ikenai Tayo Opening Song, Orange Range, Ikenai Tayo